Okay, here's an example of tinning a wire before you get to solder it. The first thing you want to do is make sure your soldering gun has a clean tip. If it doesn't, heat it up, add some solder to it, and then wipe it off with a, a damp rag so it's nice and shiny. Then we're gonna we're gonna load this tip up with a little bit of a little bit of solder. This is 6040. You hold the trigger down on this Weller. There we go. So we got a little bit of solder on there. Now we're just going to hold that tip to the copper while I'm sque squeezing the trigger and then we're going to load the solder to it. Got to wait a second. That's it. So now that's tinned, and you're going to do that to both ends of the wire. You know, when you start out, strip it and make sure you twist it, you know, clockwise before you go to tin it. But this is going to make your life a lot easier. So now when you go to solder to another wire, you're going to tin the other wire, and then you're going to set them up in a vise or clamp or whatever you have so they're just barely touching each other and then you're gonna load your soldering iron up with a little bit of solder and touch it to one of the wires and once they get hot enough they're gonna have enough solder on each of them where they're just gonna suck into each other and you'll see it melt and then get that iron away right away and five seconds later you're gonna be good to go. Here's an example of a wiring harness that I did where I tinned all the wires. Now if you notice, you know, this is a trailer wiring harness and what I did was is I cut them in a staggered fashion and the advantage of that is is now when I go to tape them up uh, none of the wires will be touching each other and I can just run tape along the whole thing. But there's an example of what they look like after they've been tinned and they've been soldered. And I will recommend this uh, soldering gun here. This is a Weller. It's a 100 watt slash 140 watt. And uh, if you just search for that on Google, you'll see that Home Depot's got them. I think they're like 40 bucks, but this is what you want. You want the gun. You don't want the soldering iron. You have a lot more control, a lot more power. And uh, you know, as far as solder goes, I like to use the really thin solder. Uh, this brand is pretty old. It probably isn't available, but all you're looking for is uh, a 6040 tin, okay? And uh, this one happens to be, uh, looks like 0 0.064 uh, inches or 1.6 millimeter, but uh, it's nice and thin, easy to work with, melts quicker. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to use the same thickness solder that you're using for... Uh, for uh, doing water pipe or whatever, it, it's too thick. So that's it. That's my video on soldering. I hope that helps you guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Pompano Brownie channel.